Hi guys, just want to do a quick video on a little trouble that we've been having with Sony Vegas. Now, <coughs> um, when we open up uh, Windows, Windows uh, sorry, uh, Sony Vegas normally, that's absolutely fine. And when we add something into Sony Vegas, that's absolutely, absolutely fine. But I hear that we've recently been having problems for when we've been rendering our videos Sony Vegas has been cutting off the last second half a second whatever of audio of the film that you've been making now I'll come up with a quick two-stage method of how to fix this and I'm just going to go through it quickly now now the first thing you do is obviously start up with uh, a new Windows Movie Maker no not Windows Movie Maker sorry Sony Vegas blah so I keep on getting those two mixed up so if this will just open up quickly we are. And then what you want to do is you want to put in your fur is sorry you want to put in your your starting uh, film or whatever that you're having problems with right at the end of your film. So for instance, if it's a clip which you're having, just cut it down and um, put it into and just actually just transfer and just literally transfer it somehow into a, a blank um, Sony Vegas. Um, with nothing here. So once you've actually got your media, which I'm just going to get now, uh, I'm just going to get one of my intros here, and if I just put that in here, right. So if I've got, so if you've got your your media up in here, and if you just get rid of these two first, just add it into here. What would normally happen is every time that you would render this. At a certain point, this bit here would cut off, so you'd you'd have that bit there with absolutely nothing in. Now to solve this, it's very very easy and very very it's fairly quick. But <coughs> I just want to show you just quickly. So what you've got to do is you've got to get rid of all the other tracks that you've got on here. So you're just left with these two here. When you're, what you want to do is you want to add a video track, but put it all the way down here below the audio track that you've got of your film. So if I just minimise these two. So it should look like this. So you've got your, your video and your audio in a blank track here. What you want to do is you want to add some text media. But don't put anything actually in the text media because what we're, what we're going to do is we're going to create sort of like a blank page. So what we do is we insert this and drag it all the way along onto the um, the film that we've got, and we go to the end here, and we zoom in, and we need to make this blank black um, layer at least a minute longer than the actual film that you've got. So I can see here that you've twelve uh, that my film runs for twelve minutes and eight seconds. So I'm going to make it thirteen eight. So where is it? This is uh, perfect. Thirteen eight there. So the film's going to go. So the, so the film is going to carry on going for another minute. But my actual uh, movie is going to stop at twelve eighteen. At twelve eight. But the film's going to carry on for another minute or so. Okay. So once your film looks something like this, and you've got your three layers, you then render it. And you can render it normally as Windows Movie Maker, and it should. Uh, no, not Windows Movie Maker. Sorry, as um, um, yeah, no, as as um, Windows Video Player. No, yeah, Windows Video, Windows um, Media Video. There you are, whatever it is. And you can choose whichever one of these you want and render it, and the audio will be perfectly fine. Now, once you've rendered it. You should have something come up that looks a little bit like this. So here you are, you've got your audio here, so if I just go to this one as well. So here's your here's your here's your um your actual movie. So you've got your audio and your visual here, but in, instead you've got a, a one minute gap here. Of just simply nothing. You can either carry on with 
um, just a blank p uh, page here or just um, loop the video that you've done already. So once you've got this and <coughs> you've actually and you can actually play through it and it plays fine. It's just that you've got a one meter of no uh, one minute of nothing on the end. You then get your you then find your um, the video that you've just done and because you want to get rid of this one minute th um, thing of nothing you want to go into Windows Movie Maker now I'm fairly sure that everyone should have Windows Movie Maker it's basic on, on basically all the computers that you can find anywhere basic, um, anywhere really it should come as um, standard when you buy a new computer and if you don't have it you can easily download it for free off of any website if you type in Windows Movie, Windows Movie Maker free download so if you just open this up should pop up any minute now, here we are and put in your video which is one minute long should load up here and get rid of that right so we know that our video is 12 minutes and 8 seconds right about here yeah we've got this one minute gap here so we know that our video has so we know that our video ends at 12.08 and that's where that's where what we want we've got a minute gap here so we're going to here find 12 well give it a little bit more um, try and get as close as you can without going hugely over and then what you gotta do is you split it and it should divide into two now we know that this is the one minute gap here and this is the actual video that we want so what we've got to do is we've got to get rid of this so just remove it and then because now that we know that this is the, the video that we want we then render it for whatever you want for your computer for a high definition recommended with this project whatever and then once you've rendered it you should come up with your video and it's as simple as that guys there's no tricky there's no foolery and whatever you're trying to get and you literally just end up with your final product being something like this if I end up um, opening this up this is my this is my actual intro and I did exactly the same method on my intro and it turns out absolutely fine so you are <laughs>